One of the things that's disturbing about the COVID-19 virus is that four out of five people who get infected are infected by someone who does not have symptoms. People who study virus spread assign them what are called basic reproductive numbers. COVID has a value of about four, which means that for every person who's infected, on average, up to four people might become infected by the person who's transmitting the virus. That means the, the number of people infected could possibly double every six days. And if you do the math, that would mean that a single person after 60 days could be responsible for a million infections. So this is serious. The scientific underpinnings of what people are being asked to do are based on what we know about how the virus is spread. Uh, the first thing we know is that the virus can survive for hours and hours on certain surfaces. So that if a person who has COVID touches a doorknob or handles a utensil or does other things and leaves the virus on that surface, the virus can stay there for up to, in some cases, up to a day. And that's why the washing of the hands is so important. Human beings, by habit, touch the face many, many times a day. And there's something called a T-zone, which constitutes your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Most of our skin is keratinized, which means that viruses cannot infect them because they're essentially not living. But your eyes, nose, and mouth have mucous membranes, and those cells are perfectly happy to accept viruses and become infected by them. Coronaviruses are indigenous to bats, and because of the genetic differences between humans and bats, those viruses don't normally infect humans. They require an intermediate host. So what happens is the coronavirus infects another animal, adopts to growing in mammals, and then it's able to infect humans. For SARS, it was cats. For MERS, it was camels. And for this virus, we don't know what the in intermediate is, but the main point is that unlike those other viruses, this virus has adopted to be able to be transmitted from humans to humans. In the case of COVID-19, we are in fact the vectors because we're transmitting the viruses to each other. So the goal is to eliminate the vectors and that means that we have to protect ourselves and by doing that, we protect everybody else. So don't be the vector. Really, by doing what we're doing, social distancing and not being vectors, we're actually protecting a large segment of our society. So each one of us can play a big role in saving lives by taking care of ourselves, we're actually taking care of each other. And that's what this is really all about.